Peace, brothers and sisters. Hotel, hotel. Peace, gods. You know, first thing I want to do is I want to be thankful and very grateful for the blessings that we have all been praying for. They are on the way. We are abundant. We are grateful. We are self-understanding and loving. We love this world and everyone we come in contact with. We are very, very, very in tune. And we are talking to God and ourselves, not in a wishful manner, in a hopeful manner, but in a very confident, affirming way that we have what we need in this world. Rediscovering and re remembering, putting the members back together, understanding energetic information that is within our DNA and within our body. Um, I have been studying. I have been paying attention to myself. It's a little bit dark in here, guys. Man, I look golden. Look at that melanin. <laughs> I'm a little bit lighter than this, but I'll tell you what, boy, that golden look good right there. Boy, boy. But, uh, you know, I have been studying. I have been healing. I have been on my journey to self-mastery. It has not been the most beautiful process. There are times when I feel overwhelmed. There are some times where I feel very insecure with who I am because the person that I thought I was was not the person that I chose to create. It is what people, places, and things have formed within me, my body, my soul, my ideology of myself and what I thought I deserved in this world. And as I undergo this transformation, I am learning so much. There are times I am so afraid. I have to pray. I have to get up. I have to love on myself. I have to remember and put it back together and redesign the person that I, as a young African-American man who is coming off of a straight path, a path of imperfection, a path of just confusion, lies, uh, low self-esteem. Then there are some times where I'm prideful and we put low self-esteem and pride and overconfidence in one. That is narcissism. That was me. So the first thing I want to do is I want to share some of this beautiful, beautiful knowledge that I am learning on a daily. It is, man, this is food for thought. This is food for your mental wealth, your physical wealth, emotional wealth, overall your spiritual wealth. I pray that God allows you to ingest this. I pray that you ingest this. We have to stop tearing people apart. We have to stop picking people apart and learn how to listen, learn how to listen and ingest, learn how to be impartial when it comes to learning. You don't need a PhD. You don't need to be rich. I don't have to be a rapper or a movie star or, you know, I don't, you know, just, hey, you know, for overwhelming, overwhelming, overwhelming existence on this earth, we have to learn to love ourselves. We have to learn to love our own existence. Um, one of the things that I've learned this morning was the only way down is up. Now, the way it works is a lot of this is opposite. You know, we think we want to get to know ourselves, so we just tune solely in ourselves. But learning how to love others, learning how to be there and be present for others is how we learn how to be there for ourselves. Because we get so caught up in what we going through and what we don't have and what we missed and what happened to us and what should have, could have, would have happened to us that we get selfish and we become something that is counterproductive of our goal. All right, another one is if you want to grow out, you must grow inside, right? You must learn how to analyze yourself because a lot of this stuff that I was blaming on people, places, and things, I was void of knowledge and self-love and understanding. I blamed every circumstance in my life that was unpleasant on the outside world. So I have to turn into my, ask myself, what am I doing? What am I saying? What am I not doing? What am I not saying? What can I do better? What can I do more of or less of? And those are questions that it was kind of difficult for me to answer. It was, yo, it, it's new, you know? And I'm just like, hmm, okay, I'll try this, you know? Um, you know, one thing that stood out for me in the Bible, I'm not a Christian, but I do believe in the Holy Trinity, such as the Holy Triune. We are all triune, mind, body, and spirit. Um, if you humble yourself, you will be exalted. The universe, whatever you call your higher power, God, spirit, Allah, you know, will 
exalt you, humble yourself in meekness, cover yourself in the protections of meek, protect yourself by being humble. Um, getting more into self-care and learning self-love, it starts with physical self-care, um, learning how to be more aware of my nutrition, um, learning how to be more aware of hydration, being more hydrated. Eating and drinking the appropriate things has an effect on your hormones, your energy levels. Be very aware. You don't have to live this vegetarian, vegan, this life, zest, uh, pescatarian. You know, you have to learn how to, substitution is where I started. I would buy a burger, throw away the bread and all the other stuff, dice the patty down over a salad, dice some onions over it. Starting with substitution, slowly but surely weaning your way into a better existence. Hydration, the water conductor of electricity. You need that. Hydrate in order to vibrate. You don't just need water because water is empty of everything but hydrogen and oxygen. You know, maybe coconut water, start getting some vitamin water, some things that come with nutrition, start blending and juicing and watermelon, you know, try different flavors. I, you know, my favorite is ginger root, beets and pineapple. I love it. Um, your circadian rhythm, such as your sleep, getting outside, getting some sunlight, understanding the circadian rhythm on a whole nother level. This in turn affects your cortisol levels. Cortisol is very, very important in your hormone levels, your stress levels as well in your body. This impacts your hormones on such a significant level, on such a significant level. Another one is your medical care. Get in tune with a primary position. Understand what your body needs and what be may be existing in you that you are unaware, right? Another one, exercise. This releases endorphins in your body that combats bad cortisol levels, the feel good feeling, mental exercise, reading, thinking to yourself, picking up a book, do some puzzles. You know, mental exercise is very, very important, just as important as physical exercise. And the most important part is to be present for yourself. Be your best friend. Talk to yourself. Be responsible. Be responsive. Be very validating to yourself. Be safe in your own head. Turn to yourself and give yourself positive affirmations. First thing in the morning, I am is the beginning. Be validating to yourself. You are your best friend. My name is 33 Ra. Spelt looks like new era because I am the new era of self-love and self-care. Us black men are doing better. We are successful. We are worthy of love. Honorable Muhammad say, if you tell a man what he's good at, he will naturally strive to be better. There's no wrong in saying, hey, black man, good job. You are doing well. I see you growing. I see you going places in this world. That vibrates in our soul. But if you tell a man what he can't do, you criticize him and you pick him apart. You have not only taken away your defense in your support, but you have taken away his power. Peace and blessings to all y'all. I love y'all. Remember to love yourself. Be present. Peace. Hotel. Shalom to all y'all. God bless. And you have a very legendary day. I'ma need my rest so I can decompress, so I can beat my chest, then I can be my best, then I can be my guilt, supersede my ship. My spirit moves swift when I seem to go adrift. That's no spiritual assist. God is present in the midst. This world ain't all good, but I can't let it get me pissed. I know favor still exists, so my principles insist. Hear that snake when it is. Now my blessings never miss. It ain't all about the check. It ain't all about the sex. Ain't no dodging process. Just dissatisfied to buy that. It's a daily progress. Got no time for nonsense. People be scrambling the concept till they mind like an omelet. Uh, walking in the light. Uh, building my might. And I'm doing it right. I'm praying at night, I'm praying in day, I know I'll be alright, 
I know it's getting better. I'm keeping spirit close. I'm holding you tight. Speaking to my mind. Vibrating through my mind. Master Kundalini and taking my time.